Hey there, I'm Josh Goldman with CNET, and this is a look at the Panasonic Lumix DSC ZS30, which basically takes the features and performance of the excellent ZS20 from 2012 and adds to it some handy Wi Fi features. So, for starters, you still have a nice 20x zoom lens, a 3 inch high res touchscreen, and inside a uh, 18 megapixel high sensitivity MOS sensor. Now, the sensor combined with a powerful processor and a high speed autofocusing system gets you fast shooting performance and very good photo and video quality, though neither are significantly better than its predecessor. Its intelligent auto mode is smart enough to get you the snapshots you want, but you also get fun shooting modes for filters and effects, easy panoramas, and high speed slow mo video. And for those who want more control, there are semi manual and manual modes too. Controls and use are overall good, and despite its compact size, it's comfortable to use in part because of the right hand grip. The only real issue here is that the power and Wi Fi buttons are a bit too easy to hit accidentally. Uh, now, like a lot of its competition, the ZS30 has built in GPS and Wi Fi, but Panasonic's added NFC as well, uh, making pairing and sharing with NFC enabled Android devices really easy. You simply launch the app and tap the camera to your phone and a Wi-Fi connection is established between them. Uh, the app can be used for remote control of the camera as well as viewing and transferring its contest to your device. Uh, you can also tap to send, which is pretty great. Uh, for those with Apple devices, you get most of the same features. You basically just lose the NFC stuff. Uh, there are some minor nitpicks, but in general, this is an impressive compact mega zoom. I'm Josh Goldman and that's the Panasonic Lumix ZS30.